I'm Stevie and today I'm going to teach you how to stay friends with your ex. So I have three exes I'm literally never going to speak to again. Two exes I do speak to like in public because it's like really rude to be obviously rude to people in public. And even if those two exes were shitty, they were like not shitty enough to justify me being shitty to them in public. You know what I mean? You know what? I don't know why I still talk to them, but I do have one ex that I'm still friends with. We have a lot in common. We hang out sometimes. And I think we might still be mad at each other for things, but it's the kind of mad that doesn't make sense to rehash if you're just gonna be friends, you know what I mean? So like we just don't talk about it and hope that it goes away slowly. Anyway, I'm qualified to make this video. Who let me have this job? So the core of this question is basically, how do I stay close to someone who I used to be really close with? And the core answer is, you don't if you don't want to. You don't have to, and if they suck, they suck. So move on. I don't know what it is about us gays, but we feel like we have to stay friends with our exes or we're the trash. When in reality, maybe they're your ex because they're the trash. Or maybe you're the trash, in which case, leave your ex the f alone. In my opinion, every relationship in your life should be treated the same way. Does it suck? Don't have it. If they fucking rule, keep them around. If they're an asshole, throw them in the garbage. I just feel like so many of y'all are like, um, they're an asshole and they make me miserable, but like, how do I stay friends with them? And my answer is, you don't. You stop that. We don't do it. We look at every relationship that we have, even if they're family, and we determine whether they are toxic or not. And if they are, we say bye bye and we ghost them. Literally block your mom. Right, Banjo? Did you block your mom? <laughs> he looks so funny on camera. Tell them about their exes, Banjo. If someone's a great person and you like hanging out with them and they like hanging out with you and they're good at personal boundaries, then you literally wouldn't be asking me how to stay friends with them because you just like would be friends with them. You know what I mean? Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a struggle. Right, Banjo? It wouldn't be a struggle like me trying to have you on camera right now. Okay, bye. If you feel like you like someone but you don't, feel comfortable hanging out with them for some reason, or you don't know if you're good at creating boundaries, or you find yourself not respecting other people's boundaries. Here's my first suggestion, therapy. Literally get a therapist, it's 2019. All the cool kids are doing it, and if you don't already have a therapist, well, I have a suggestion for you. It's called BetterHelp, who happens to be sponsoring this video. I have personally used BetterHelp and I really liked it because you can either talk to them on the phone or via text message and you can even video chat them. I never did that, but I bet it's cool. I really liked it because it wasn't weird to fire them. When I didn't like them anymore, I could just click fire and then I had a new therapist within 24 hours. Pretty dope. The sign up process is really easy. Everyone on the site is a certified and licensed therapist. And when you sign up, you get to choose who you're looking for. If you want someone who specializes in gay stuff or gender stuff, you can find that. It's $65 a week and you can sign up for financial aid if you need to cut those costs even more. They just started doing these group webinar sessions too. Come in. Hurry up, come in. I'm <laughs> filming, hurry up. Oh, hello. I'll be done in like two seconds. Come sit. Of course. Say wait, say hi. Oh, Ma hi hello, Max, hi, have hi, you hi, ever hi, have hi, you hi, ever hi. tried betterhelp.com? Not yet, but I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, because it's down. a cool thing to do, right? Oh, yeah. All the cool kids are. Boom! <laughs> Anyway, you can learn about specific topics like overcoming anxiety and how to have healthy relationships. Go to my link, betterhelp.com slash Stevie to try it out. Here's the short version of how to create boundaries for yourself. Figure out what you want, ask for it, and then don't settle for anything less. If you're like, hey ex, I wanna hang out, but it's too soon for me right now. Give me a couple months and then we can talk. The way to hold that boundary is to literally not text them for a few months. Just do what you say you're gonna do. It's also really important to communicate your boundaries to the other person instead of just like ghosting them. But like some people deserve that. Especially if you've already said to someone like, hey, it's chill if we're nice to each other when we see each other out, but I don't wanna be like hanging out just one on one and then they keep obsessively texting you to hang out, guess what? They cross your boundary. I tell people when they've done something shitty and then I need to create a boundary. I tell them what the boundary is. If they don't respect it, then I ghost them. One time I had a friend who was basically a walking boundary violation. Like they would always ask me for shit. They need to borrow something of mine or they'd need a favor. I would drive them places or bring them shit. And then one time I asked them to borrow something and then they gave me this long speech about how they thought I was gonna break the thing. And I was like, okay, then never mind. And then they kept asking me for favor after favor and I did it. And then one day I was really desperate for someone to help me out with something disability related. And this person, this friend, treated me like a piece of fucking garbage for even asking in the first place. Like what the fuck? So I ghosted them. We don't talk. 
They're not an ex, that was just a friend, so. A new boundary for me is if someone makes me feel sh like shit about my disability, I'm over it, I'm done. I do not have the energy to defend myself or prove that I need help or educate every single motherfucker about how everyone in the world is different. I actually don't have the energy. I sleep 16 hours a day and I wake up tired, so. I don't have time to mess around. But honestly, it took me a really long time to be able to set all of the boundaries that I needed to. I didn't wanna be letting people down or I didn't want people to make me feel bad about specific things. Sometimes people are afraid of being too demanding, not being chill, or scared of losing a relationship. But guess the fuck what? I am all of those things. I am one of the least chill people, to quote one of my exes, that you will ever meet. I am not chill. People do not like me sometimes. And I literally don't care. Don't be scared of losing a piece of shit relationship. Because it's a piece of shit relationship? Why would you even value it? If things are not chill, why are you forcing yourself to have a relationship? Don't shame yourself for not wanting to be around someone who sucks. You do not have to be a lesbian stereotype. This is not the fucking L word. Also, if your ex is really cool and you wanna be friends, then just give it a little bit of time. The romantic feelings will go away and it'll be easy and chill. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to all my patrons. If you want to get a gift box in the mail full of a bunch of sex toys from me, click the link in the description to become a patron. I love you and I love me and that's why we do therapy. Wow, I just made that up and it rhymes and I'm talented. Anyway, go to betterhelp.com slash Steve. And then we can all be in therapy and we can only kiss people that are working on themselves. I love that for us. Okay, bye.